All right, guys, just gonna give you a quick opening for the hunt you're about to watch. We're in the lost buck hole on this one. Uh, last day of the first split, I believe. Got a hard north wind. You can see how the ducks work, that they're really fighting to get in now. It's good, lots of ducks, but the bulk of them are like two to 300 yards north of us. So we're really having to stay on them to get them to pull off those other ducks. Now, once they get past us, they're gone. So emphasis on this hunt is calling hard as loud as you can to make them buck the wind, go downwind and set up. Another real critical deal on this hunt is the shot call. Um, you gotta call it when you know they're committed, but the second you call it, they can change their mind and just literally throw their wings back and in a matter of a second, they're just almost out of range. Not a lot of talk. Seth had to set up away from us on this hunt and he's just filming straight killing. So I'm gonna try to drop a few more tips in, but uh, this is pretty quick, pretty, pretty much just killing. So I hope y'all enjoy.
So I cut out a lot of footage on this hunt just because I, I felt like it was just needed to be faster paced. But real quick, one of the things that on this hunt that I remember vividly, especially after watching it back, is you had to stay on the ducks. You had to make them change their mind, pull off the live ducks, and go downwind. We're not hunting public grounds, so we're not competing against other hunters, but we do compete against live ducks which is hard to compete against with just your spread, your spinners, and two or three callers. So what I would do and what I did on this hunt is when the ducks were above me and trying to go past me, they may be 50 yards, but you stay on them as hard as you can. And by stay on them, this is what I mean. <laughs> Until they finally throw their wings back and go downwind and set up on a hole. As soon as they throw their wings back and you see them going, just start feed calling. <laughs> and that was it. If you could ever make them go downwind and get the feed call, you just about have them. I got to the hospital, I realized why they asked me to move my toes. Right. All the time.